Hi, so if you're listening to this on YouTube, the link to this exercise is so that you can do it yourself is down in the description, link down below the video. So uh, first I'll do the, what I'll call pronunciation accuracy, helping you pronounce the right uh, sounds. And then we'll talk about the French R because there are a few of them here. So um, I want you to notice that there's a T at c'est une, c'est une formation. Listen to the T. Et c'est une formation. Et c'est une forme. Et c'est une. The fact that you're pronouncing that T and learning that it's really c'est une, it's not c'est une, it's c'est une. The fact that you're doing that and making that a habit is going to help you produce that sound correctly when you're speaking to people uh, in French. So the next thing is formation. This word is not formation. There's no sh sound. It's formation. You'll notice that on all the T-I-O-N words in French. Also, T-I-O-N words are always feminine. Just a little tip to help you. Uh, formation, with an S sound for the T. Formation. Qui est fait. You'll hear this uh, T here. Fait. Let's make sure that you hear that. Formation qui est fait par... Formation qui est fait par... Okay, you hear that? Fait par des maîtres. Uh, maître, this is not maître, it's maître. You hear the difference? Maître, maître. Maître fleuriste européen. So this is fleuriste, it's er, fleur, fleur. And then européen, no Y in front of européen. It's not European, it's européen. Now let's talk about um, tongue and lip movements and how we're going to try to make these words uh, come out more easily. So uh, it's very difficult for many of us to make this R right after an O because we, if we, we're wondering how to do it in any way. What I would suggest is that you keep the tongue forward and lazy in the in the mouth you know so that it won't pull back you need to keep that tongue forward and just not doing anything just sitting there in the front of the mouth and to help you do that i want you to first think about what you would normally do as an english speaker if you said uh with an english speaker's accent a set une formation if you said a set une formation you would feel your tongue pull back the tip of the tongue pull back for the formation feel that a set une four a set in four, set in four, and you're going to feel the tongue pull back for the four. A set in formation. But what I want you to do is keep, um, I want you to, as an exercise, I'm not saying that the French people do this, I want you to do this as an exercise. See if you can keep your bottom row of teeth uh, 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 covered with your tongue. Keep your tongue covering your bottom row of teeth and not moving and just staying there. A set in formation. Formation, et c'est une formation, et c'est une formation. I think that you'll naturally have the correct French R because your tongue is forward in the mouth and it's ending up blocking the flow of air. And so this little puff of air has to get around, the, push the tongue out of the way almost to get that formation, that, that R sound. So we both agree that when you hear me say formation, you hear a break in the sound. Formation, you hear a break in the sound, right? It's not a formation, It's there's a break. Formation, and that's because the back of my um, roof of my mouth and my tongue are, then the back of my tongue are touching together. Formation, so I can do that more easily if I keep my tongue forward Think of it as a lazy tongue, not doing anything, just sitting there forward. And for the exercise that I'm asking you to do today, keep the bottom row of teeth covered with that tongue. Et c'est une formation qui est faite par des maîtres, par des maîtres. See, I can also do that. I'm keeping my tongue forward. Par des maîtres, par des maîtres, par des maîtres. And you can hear that R for the par, par des maîtres. And then it's a uh, maître fleuriste, fleuriste. And you'll notice that that when I say fleuriste, it's not um, fleuriste, it's fleuriste. Uh, listen to the difference. Fleuriste. And what I want you to say instead is fleur, 
fleurista, fleurista. So think of the break as coming before the R, the break in the syllable. So there's a syllable break before the R. The R starts a new syllable, fleurista, fleurista. And what I'm doing is, so you need to look, because it's hard for me to describe anyway, you need to look for the what you can do with the back of your tongue while keeping the front of your tongue forward and lazy and almost covering your lower teeth. What can you do with the back of your tongue to make that popping sound? You're going to be pushing a little bit of air past the tongue. Uh, fleurista, fleurista. And you can see that my uh, corners of my mouth are coming back a little bit, but I think that is just, that's not actually the way I'm making the sound. That's kind of a side, uh, my lips coming back is, uh, a side effect of what I'm doing with the back of my tongue, fleurista. And I think you might even see my Adam's apple maybe jumping. I'm not sure, but maybe I can try to film it for you. Fleurista, 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 euro, européen, euro, 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 Okay, so hopefully that helps you. Keep that tongue forward the whole time and um, hope you enjoy this. Hope you enjoy working with this. Uh, one last point is that it's not important that you say all these words as quickly as the speaker. You can let the sound repeat and just work on one word or two words or this word or that word, and you can let the sound repeat and listen to certain words. It's not important that you say all this as quickly as the speaker. Think of this as a playground for your tongue and lips, where you're just letting the sound play. You're kind of in the pool here, in the water, immersed in this, letting the sound run while you practice with your tongue and lips, trying to make these sounds, looking for the way to move your tongue and lips to make these sounds more easily, more easy to say. Have a nice day.